Hello, my name is Oak. Uh, at least I go by Oak online. Um, I create GNOME sequencer enhanced macros, and this is my first video about that. So, um, just want to show you some basics when it comes to this. Uh, GNOME sequencer enhanced is an add on that allows you to create sequences of abilities and spells and macros and things that uh, will try to fire up your abilities and your rotation in a certain order depending on how you have it laid out within the sequence. Uh, it sounds a little complicated uh, but after doing it for a while or after some trial and error you can get some pretty good performance this way. It's, it's good for people that uh, may have disabilities that don't have full use of their hands. Um, for me I, I can't handle repetitive motion in my hands very much so uh, that's why I started using it. I've been using this since uh, Warlords of Drainer um, so I've, I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, my first video really directly uh, emphasizing the use of this add-on. Um, but basically it, you open it up with uh, just a slash GSE. Uh, and then you can see uh, here's what the layout looks like. It has sequences, variables, macros, key bindings, and then import. Import will allow you to import different sequences into your game. Um, a sequence is basically set, set up, like I said, as a series of spells, and you're basically trying to find out the mathematical probability for different abilities to fire off over other things. So, as for Rep Pally, you know, our spenders, once we have three holy power, or sometimes four holy power, depending on how you're specced, uh, you want a spender to go off. So, um, inside Gnome Sequencer, enhanced into the sequence, uh, you would lay out all your spells and abilities into things called blocks. So there's different types of blocks. There's action blocks, like this one. It's just a basic block that has one thing that it does. Um, there are uh, loop blocks. This is a loop block here. And there's different ways you can set up a loop block, but basically a loop block means that it's going to loop through the different abilities in here and try to fire as many things off as it can. Um, it's not smart. It's all about mathematical probability. Uh, it doesn't know if it success, uh, successfully cast a spell or not. Um, but if it can't cast a spell due to the resources not being available or the spells not ready, the spells on cooldown, uh, your GCD's not up, you know, whatever the case might be, it just keeps looping through regardless. And whenever the resources are available, uh, the spells off cooldown. Um, you know your GCD is up you know it will try to cast whatever it happens to land on at that particular moment so different types of loops that you have you have a priority list a priority list will do just this uh, it will try to go through every spill in the loop um, in this order so it'll go through the first spell if it can't cast it then it'll hit the first spell again and then move to the second spell and then go back to the first spell again, then the second, then the third, and then the first again, second, third, uh, fourth, and then back to the first again, so on and so forth until it makes its way all the way through the priority sequence. Um, there is a random, which I have never ever used this, because basically what that means is it will just randomly hit something in this loop. It doesn't know what it will hit, when it will hit it. It doesn't even know if it will hit everything in the loop. Um, there's a reverse priority. So the idea of the reverse priority is that they want it to have more likelihood and, and spread like your first ability more evenly throughout the loop. So the way it does that is instead of going the first one, then the first one again and moving on to the second one, it does a reverse priority. So it goes the first one, then it goes to the second one, then back to the first one. Then it goes to the third one, back to the second one, back to the first one. Then the fourth one, back to the third one, back to the second one, back to the first one. You know, so it just kind of tries to spread those abilities more so throughout the entire sequence. So um, it's all about mathematical probability. Um, the other type of loop is basically just a sequential loop. So for that, you know, if you put that loop in here, like sometimes what I'll do is I will put a sequential loop within a probability loop. 
I mean, not a probability, sorry, a uh, priority loop. And that way, once it's going through the priority loop, it'll hit a se sequential loop. And you have some basic abilities. Like, if I were to do this on my ret, um, I'd probably put, like, Templar, Templar Strike in there. Um, you know, maybe Blade of Justice, Judgment, you know, some abilities like that. And it would just rotate through those, depending on how many repeats you have. So it could do a sequential loop like once or twice throughout the uh, time that you're in that sequence. Um, at this time, priority loop seems to work the best for what I use it for. Uh, in the new GNOME sequencer, you no longer are dragging icons to your taskbar. Uh, you now would key bind your sequences to a key. Uh, to do that, you go to your key binding menu. Uh, if you don't have any key binds here, you'd hit new and then hit what key you want to bind. So in this case, let's say it's uh, for my AOE ret rotation. Uh, I like to use things like brackets, keys that are not often used. Um, so that that's what I use for my main sequences, which are single target and AOE. And then you just choose from the drop-down box what sequence you want it to use. Uh, these key binds are specific to your spec. So if I were to switch to protection, uh, my bracket would then turn to uh, the prop pally sequence that I have. Once you have everything set up in there and you're ready to go through your sequence, you just run up and you let your key spam. Uh, it'll try to go through your rotation. Um, as you see the holy power here, uh, it's going to try to burn that holy power as, as soon as it has it. So, up oh, here's some beta lag. So that's always fun. Um, but it'll go through your sequence as much as it can. It'll try to spam uh, and burn your holy power. Um, it'll try to hit every ability that I have uh, and you know, try to do that in a priority system. So um, I will be making sequences uh, once the pre-patch goes live, uh, once we have a better idea of what talents everybody's gonna be using, you know, um, and uh, that way I can try to optimize things as best as I can. Um, I think my Dragonflight sequences were pretty optimized. They worked really well. Um, this new way of having to do things that I can't throw as much into my sequences as I, as I was able to before, like dispelling or um, turning evil for the different affixes that we used to have. But thankfully those are going away. So, you know, that's not as necessary. Uh, and you can always put those things on a modifier key and, and put it on a, a, a second action bar. Like I have this action bar for all of my alt keys. So in my sequences, I like to do like a no mod in there for the macros. So I can hold down alt and it'll stop my sequence from firing off. But that's uh, to be seen in future videos. Uh, I do plan on making more and uh, some tutorials about my thought process into making different sequences. Um, and uh, trying to get some more information regarding how this whole thing works. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments and see what you think about this whole thing. Um, Gnome Sequencer is changing quite a bit going into the War Within. Uh, we'll have a much better grasp on things. So I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background, but it's, uh, it's about storming. Um, this is my first video of any type like this. I, I don't usually speak in my videos. I, I've posted a few things just where I'm going through the rotation with Gnome Sequencer, but that's really about it. Oh, and you can probably see my chickens in <laughs> my videos too. Uh, but with that said, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button. If you really like it, hit the subscribe button. I do plan on releasing more. And uh, let me know what you think and, you know, how I did. And uh, looking forward to the war within. Thanks and uh, see ya.